Hello, so I thought it was about time that I refilmed this video. I did say that I was going to do this every single year and the last time I filmed this was back in 2021 so kind of missed the boat slightly with that one but I'm doing it now and I think it's a good idea to do this just to give you a general idea of what pets I keep and what animals I've got although pretty quickly this can become quite outdated because I have a lot of pets that have a very short lifespan and I do also have a few animals that are very old and kind of on the last legs so things could not be very accurate pretty quickly. In a month or so things could be entirely different so things change pretty quickly around here but these are the pets and the animals that I've got right now in this video. I also think it's really important just to add in a quick disclaimer especially if you're young and watching this and thinking that's a lot of animals or something that I would also like. To some people it might be and I think having social animals that have to live not only in pairs but in groups that definitely bumps the number up but I've got all of these species gradually over the past five or six years so it's not been a rush split second thing. I've been gradually getting them and learning their care over the past five or six years so keep that in mind. Also remember that I'm an adult, I've got multiple sources of income and I don't really do anything or go anywhere. I haven't got any of the hobbies besides this which does sound very sad but all of my money and time goes on to these animals and learning things about them so that's also really important to remember that this is manageable for me but it might not be for everyone watching so really really important to know your limits when it comes to bringing home an animal. But let's get started, I think I'm going to go in size order starting with my cat. So this is my cat Herbal and I don't think he's going to want to stay in here for too long because he is terrified of being in here, he's not usually allowed. I think the last time he was actually properly in here was when I filmed this video back in 2021 so he is not having a good time right now. So he is two and a half years old and he was a rescue cat. I got him when he was a very, very tiny kitten and he's kind of long haired, kind of not. Um, he's also an indoor cat. Thankfully, because he doesn't have any common sense, he is kind of stupid in some cases, um, but he's a very good boy. He is a big baby, as you can see. He also loves to play hide and seek and just grabbing your legs when you walk past. He does also know a couple of tricks. He knows how to sit, shake paw, high five, he kind of knows how to lie down, he knows how to sit up and speak, so sometimes he can be intelligent, but most of the time he is kind of stupid. But he is my heart and soul, I hate being away from him. He definitely has only child syndrome, he is very very spoiled, and I'm sort of breath from just holding him because he is a very big boy. Um, he is getting a little sister very soon, which I don't think he's going to be too pleased about. Being in here is probably like Disneyland to him because he never comes in here. Um, but he's a really good boy, he knows that he's not allowed in here so he doesn't even try. So moving on to my rats, I've got five rats, all males, and the oldest one is Pudding here. He is almost two years old and he's a black eyed Siamese Dumbo Rex. So Pudding here is a very mellow boy, I don't think he has the best eyesight, um, so he does get quite spooked sometimes, but he is just really slow and chilled and he just likes to take life at his own pace and just kind of do his own thing. Next up we have Crumpet and he is about a year old and he is a red-eyed Siamese and he's definitely the biggest rat that I've got right now. He is huge and solid and he is really really big compared to the other rats, just a lot more firm and bulky but he is such a good boy. He's a good boy with me, he always wants to just come and sit in my lap and he's really good with the other rats too. Next we have Polo and he is also a year old and he is a black-eyed ivory and he is a lump of a rat, he definitely needs to lose weight, but he hates exercising, he hates running around and doing things the other rats are doing, he just wants to sleep. Um, so that makes things a little bit challenging because he's just so, so lazy, but it does make him very, very squishy and very cuddly. He is such a good rat to handle, he's definitely the kind of rat that I would just give to people that haven't handled a rat before because he literally just sits there. Don't you? You're a very good boy. Then we have my two youngest who are not going to sit still at all for this clip. This one is Aero, he is a black variegated Dumbo and he is a rescue, but he is bundles of fun, he is so hyper, he loves to chase cat bonds and your hand, he also just loves to spend time with you and be on you all the time, whether he's launching himself onto your lap or trying to climb onto your head, he is just a bundle of fun so he has definitely crept his way into my heart and I'd definitely say that he is my favourite. <laughs> 
And lastly, we have Kinder. He is also eight months old and also a rescue. He is also very, very hyper and crazy. He gets into everything that he shouldn't do. He climbs things he shouldn't climb. He is just a rat that is completely insane, um, but I wouldn't change him at all. He's so fun. He makes me laugh so much on a daily basis because he is just so crazy. So that is the rats, they're now causing chaos around me. But moving on to my mice, I've got a group of five mice and also two new mice I want to introduce to you. Okay, so this is my group of five mice. I have corralled them all into their carrier and I'm just gonna go in the order of which I got them, starting with my ancient, ancient boy. Um, he's very old. So this is Flurry, he is two years and three months old and he's a rescue. He is a neutered Texel male, which is why he's able to live in with my girls. And he is kind of on his last legs, I won't lie. He's got various different old age health issues. He's got a head tilt, but he's still very, very active. He gets around the entire cage behind me with no issues at all. So he's still got a bit of life left in him, but he just looks very, very rough. And I'm not holding him because he can be a bit sassy sometimes. When he's done with you holding him, he lets you know by trying to take a chunk out of your hand, so I'm not gonna bother him unless I have to, which I do have to quite often to help him and give him medication and things, so I'm not gonna bother him for the sake of this video because I would like to keep my fingers today. Next up we have Ren. She is a Siamese pied female. She is also a rescue, and she's about a year and a couple months old, and when I first got her, she was very, very nervous. I don't think she'd really been handled that much, but now she's perfectly happy to come over for a treat and happy being handled, so she is a very, very good mouse. Then we have Lark, who was rescued with Wren, and she is a long-haired black pied. She is also around a year and a couple months old. She is a lot more nervous. She also has an eye infection at the moment, so she's not looking her best, um, but she is a lot more nervous than any of the other mice. She does prefer to hang back and not get as involved in treats or food, although she is very, very big. Um, so she's not that keen on being handled or interacting, and that's perfectly fine. Next up is Clover. She is a red female, and she's going to be a year old in a couple of months. And she's definitely on the larger side. She's made a lot of improvement since coming here to lose a bit of weight, but she is still a very large mouse. And again, she's on the shyer side. She will dart and hide when you come to the enclosure, but she has been making a really conscious effort to try and take a treat Although she will do this in such a haste that she will sometimes accidentally grab your finger instead because she's so desperate just to grab the food and run away. Next up is probably my most interesting looking mouse. This is April and she is an Argenti female. She has a big body and big ears, but she also has the sweetest personality. It took me a while to get to know her personality at first um, when I first adopted her, but she's really sweet. She loves to come up for a treat. And she also takes great pride in her appearance. She is always, always cleaning herself. Whenever I go in to look at them, she is always having a wash. And then, so I also run a small animal rescue and I've done really well not to keep anything or be too tempted to keep anyone. But with Flurry being so old and the other girls being around a year, I knew I'd start thinking about getting other mice which is always a constant thing. So when we had a bunch of babies come in, I of course wanted to keep some and they are in here, so these are boys, and it's been such a long time that I've actually had a male mouse that's intact. The smell really is something, and the balls on these guys is quite impressive, um, but I've decided to keep two of the babies, and they're not gonna join the others for a long while because they have to be big enough to be neutered and then be introduced, so it's gonna be a process. They are living separately at the moment, but when they're ready, they are gonna go into the group and then into this enclosure behind me. So this is the first boy. His name that he has been given in the rescue is Sphinx, and he's a six week old fuzzy mouse. He did look quite hairless when he was younger, but now he has a very interesting looking peach fuzz over his entire body. So he is quite shy. He's still very much in his, I want to launch myself off of every surface phase. And he has the name Sphinx. All of the names of the mice and the babies in that letter were Greek mythology theme and also the other boy, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep this or change this. I haven't decided yet. And then this is the other boy that I'm keeping or adopting, and his name is Griffin. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that or change that. 
and I'm not entirely sure on his variety. He was a lot more of an agouti colour um, when he was a baby, but I think he's a blue agouti texel. Um, and he's a lot more of a laid back, chilled mouse, as you can see, he's not trying to run and fly away. Um, so he's a lot more chilled, which is nice because I actually get to look at you. Then I also have three harvest mice, all females, and I'm not gonna even attempt to hold them right here because honestly, I will lose them. And you probably couldn't even see them from this distance because they are that small. So I'll put in some clips, um, but they are roughly all around seven months old and they live as a group of three. I can kind of tell them apart, not always, to be honest, it is quite difficult. Um, Hazel is the dominant female and she is a lot more orange in color, which definitely helps to tell them apart. She is also the more confident one. She will sometimes come out onto my hand and she's always the first one at the front trying to get a treat or a mealworm. And then we also have Cashew and Pecan. Cashew is the smallest one who looks a little bit more scruffy looking, um, but honestly I can't always tell them apart. But they are honestly the most precious little souls. They are so fun to watch and interact with. You can't really handle them the same way you do with rats and fancy mice, they do mostly prefer to be left alone, but when they do decide to come up to you for a treat, it is honestly magical. So first up is my leopard gecko Orbit, and she is now five years old. I adopted her when she was around a year old, and I can't believe I've had her for that long. She is definitely a bit of a princess. Um, she can be quite cheeky. She's really easy and really good to handle, but when she's had enough, she lets you know. She starts chirping and clicking at you, so she definitely knows her own mind. And she's also a really picky eater. She wants things hand-delivered to her door. She doesn't want to put in any effort when it comes to food. And sometimes she wants it, sometimes she doesn't, so she can be quite picky with things. And one of her favourite activities is to sit and watch where her tank is. She can watch the rats running around during free roam and try to chase them. She won't chase after any of her live food, but the rat she's definitely interested in, um, but she is a bit of a princess. And then we have my African egg-eating snake, Rue. She is roughly minimum around two years old, but I feel like she could be older, and she's a bit on the thinner side at the moment because she's been refusing food, and there's also been a quail egg shortage because of bird flu, so not ideal, but she is very much a sedentary creature. Um, if you want a snake that you can handle, I don't handle her very often, pretty much just for occasions like this, and a snake that you can watch that's gonna be interesting. Egg-eating snakes are probably not the right one for you, unless you set up a camera in their enclosure. You are probably not gonna see them very often, so that's just my personal preference in snakes. I love her, I think she's so cool and so fun, um, but she really doesn't do a whole lot. Um, she just sits in her hide and waits for her next meal or not, if she decides that she doesn't want it. Um, so yeah, she is not the most active snake, but that's okay. And lastly, we have my giant African land snail slushy. More specifically, they are an Archacatina marginalis australis. And this is pretty much it. Um, this species is a lot more shy, and you're not really gonna see them come out of the shell too much compared to a lot more common species that are kept in the pet trade, so this is about as exciting as it gets. Um, but yeah, I have some snail videos and a video on how I ended up with Slushy that you can watch if you want to, but this is pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, that is all of my current pets. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting them. I've been filming this video for hours and it's getting dark outside, so I'm gonna go. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.